Okay, this is uh, question number 12 from chapter number 5 of HC Verma. Uh, chapter name is uh, Newton's Laws of Motion. A man has fallen into a ditch of width D and two of his friends are slowly pulling him out using a light rope and two fixed pulleys as shown in the figure. Show that the force, assume both of, equal for both the friends, exerted by each friend on the, ro uh, on the road increases as the man moves up. Find the force when the man is at a depth H. Okay, so... Uh, let's try to understand the man is being pulled up with tension t okay he is being pulled up in the two directions so these two men are trying to pull the string so that two men are get experiencing a tension force t themselves and because they are pulling the string they are being pulled in this direction they are being pulled in this direction so uh, friction will be acting on them backwards for equilibrium. Okay. Now, what does the question say? Very important point. The question says that uh, they are pulling him out slowly. They are pulling him out slowly. So, net force should always be zero. Net force should always be zero. So, this frictional force should be equal to tension force on these two men. So, frictional force will be equal to tension. So, if we can find tension, we can find the frictional force. Okay. Now let's draw the FBD for this man in the uh, uh, ditch over here. So for this man in the ditch, he is experiencing one force in this direction, T, and another force in this direction, again, T. Let's say that the angle T is theta with horizontal. Okay, now it's a uh, like uh, easy to understand that as the man starts going up, this angle theta, okay, will keep on increasing. Okay, as the man starts going up, this man in the ditch starts going up, the angle theta will keep on decreasing. Okay, so we can say that theta is decreasing as the man climbs up. Okay. Now there's one more force acting on the man, which will be mg downwards. Okay. So since the man is going up slowly, net force should always be zero. So mg downwards should be balanced by the components of these two tension in the vertically upward direction. So the components of tension will be T sine theta. And since there are two of them, we have 2T sine theta. Okay. So T will be equal to mg by 2 sin theta. Okay. Now, like I said, theta is decreasing as the man is climbing up. So if theta is decreasing, sin theta will also decrease. So for this expression, denominator is decreasing. Since denominator is decreasing, the whole expression will increase. So this is increasing okay now as we just saw that friction is equal to t so show that what is the question asking show that the force exerted by each friend on the road increases as the man moves up okay so as the man is moving up theta is decreasing since theta is decreasing sine theta is decreasing so tension will be increasing and tension equal to friction so friction is increasing so force on the ground is increasing okay clear now, so this is one part. Second part, they are asking, find the force when the man is at a depth h from the top. This depth is h. Okay. So we need to draw a triangle over here. So I can draw this triangle where this is the depth h. This total distance is width of the pit, uh, ditch is d. So half of the uh, uh, will be how much? d by 2. So this will be equal to d by 2 and this angle we just saw that this is theta, correct? Uh, this angle is, this angle is theta, same angle we have drawn over here, okay? So from this triangle we get sine theta will be what? Opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Hypotenuse will be how much? Root of h square plus d square by 4. So under root h square plus d square by 4 or sine theta will be equal to if you take 4 common outside, so 2h divided by root of 4h square plus d square, you found sin theta. Put sin theta in this formula. So we get 
tension T will be equal to mg by 2 times sin, <coughs> sin theta is 2h root of 4h square plus d square okay so this will be equal to what t is equal to mg root 4h square plus d square divided by 4h okay 